morning and happy Sunday. It's Sunday and it's gorgeous out here. <clears throat> Today we actually just want to um, just talk about how getting outside and getting in tune out in nature, how, how relaxing and how soothing that is for your soul. Just makes you feel, um, I don't know, it just makes me feel really good and at peace and close to God and I'm just um, out of those four walls at home that just really um, just makes you feel like boxed in. I love to be outdoors. And so today we want to just go ahead and share the beautiful outdoors. I'm going to let you take a look, take a peek. Today we want to share a scripture with you. We want to share, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Loving God and keeping His commandments sometimes means taking up our cross and following after the Son of God, who walked the road of Calvary for us, was nailed to the cross for us, so that we might have eternal life in love. Because we are worthy of Christ's love when we take up our cross and follow Him, so imagine how great God's love for us is when we don't deserve it. Those are the times when we are called to make great efforts in love. And those are the times when it seems that some people do not deserve our love. Perhaps a neighbor is suing us. Perhaps a spouse has hurt us. Perhaps a child has vexed us. Perhaps a brother or sister has offended us. We are called to love most when some people seem to deserve it the least. When the walk of our own personal Calvary seems too far, or when the weight of our own personal cross seems too much, 
Those are the times when Christ calls us to keep going, one step at a time, to be an example of sacrificial love. This means being patient with that spouse or that child. This means being kind and patient to that organization that might be hurting us. These are ways to love God and keep His commandments. This means not envying someone at work who might have a better chair or position. This means not boasting about opportunities or promotions. This means not being so proud so as to cause envy in others. This means avoiding pride so that others will not be tempted to envy us. These are other ways to love God and keep His commands. Other ways are not by looking at another person as though they were an object. More ways to love God and keep His commands are by being less selfish and more selfless, and by being fearless of the world and its future. Another way is to prevent ourselves from becoming so angry that we might say something we might regret. Another way is not keeping a record of the ways people hurt us. Another way is by not rejoicing in the wrongdoings of others, but rather by rejoicing in God's love and truth. Still other ways are protecting people who are less fortunate and trusting in God's plan for each of us and by being hopeful that Jesus Christ will never abandon us. Loving God and keeping His commands means persevering in all these ways despite how we might think or how we might feel. Because loving God and keeping His commands extends beyond all our feelings and all our thoughts. It goes deeper than the deepest reaches of our hearts. Because from our hearts come unclean things that need to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. It climbs higher than the uppermost peak of our thoughts. Because we must take captive every thought and make each one obedient to the love of God. To love God and keep His commands, let me leave you with this short prayer. King Jesus, where I am selfish, make me selfless. Where I am weak, Jesus, where I am selfish, make me selfless. Where I am weak, give me wisdom. Where I am prideful, make me prudent. When I am unjust, make me understanding. When I am cold, make me compassionate. I am careless, make me consoling. Wherever I am wounded in my heart, and whenever I might wound the hearts of others, heal me. Amen. That concludes our nice walk for today. Uh, I hope that you will get out and enjoy this beautiful day or any beautiful day and that you can uh, look around you and see the beauty that God has created for us to enjoy. The trees, the sky, the animals, just nature. And it gives you a good feel of peacefulness, His peacefulness. So I hope that you'll enjoy um, every, all the video clips that we have on our nature walk today. And and then the prayer for the day. Be blessed.